Yo there guys, what is up? Loot Games here, and today we are playing Terraria Android Edition. And today I'm hoping to kill some turtles to get some turtle shells. Then after that, we're going to go farm some chlorophyte, which is going to be pretty insane because chlorophyte is quite hard to find, I guess. Not majorly hard to find, but I believe it's like a hard thing to find uh, altogether, unless you have some sort of farm for it. But me... I don't make many farms for things, only really simple ones, like this one down here, which is no longer in use at the minute, but it will come in use one day, maybe, if I need to farm pirates or something, and I want to AFK it, I don't really know, you can always build one of those, if you do want to AFK something, but let's go ahead anyway, people keep telling me not to use the vampire knives as well, and I do sort of agree with you guys, but I really want to get a horseman's blade before I swap, I know it's going to be a big thing to get, but I really want to do that, before that, I want to, I do want to try to get some turtle armor, though, which would be pretty cool. And I'm not sure whether to go on top or the bottom of the world for turtles to spawn more. I'm not sure where the spawn rate of them is, but pretty sure they can spawn anywhere in the jungle. So even if I'm at the top of the jungle, they should spawn on me, uh, even if I'm on the top. So if we do look around for some anyway. But I hope you're all having a great day. hope you're all doing well. And hopefully it's nice weather where you are, because it's actually... Uh, lightened up here. It was actually bad weather yesterday. If, if you watch my Xbox One video, you'll know. Well, you you know it was really bad weather, and you probably heard the thunderstorm there. But it was crazy, right? I don't think we're gonna actually get burnt by this because we actually have a obsidian shield right now, so we shouldn't get burnt by this meteorite. But we're gonna clear it out anyway, so we don't get meteorite heads attacking us. But to be honest, it don't. Act oh, there they are. I was gonna say, to be honest, it don't actually look like there's any attacking us. And then I realised that there was coming from the right. So there we go, yeah. Our little minion should take them out before it can even get to us anyway. Which should, which should be good. Should be excellent. So I'm just going to work on trying to mine all this meteorite up. Pretty sure you only need to mine most of it. I didn't realise all this was meteorite. I thought that was some of that looked like iron or something then. A lava bat as well. I didn't know you could get lava bats. They exist. It must be when there's meteorite in jungle then you get a lava bat. I'm not too sure. Didn't even know lava bats existed. Unless I'm just going crazy, I, d I don't know. Should be jungle bats in the jungle biome, right? Not lava bats. <laughs> maybe it's something to do with a meteorite, I don't know. And maybe it's um a mobile feature. All that's going to drain out to there, isn't it? Saw it happening. Doesn't really matter. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and pull the mud, blo mud blocks back as well. So that things spawn as in a jungle biome. Yeah, we've got an angry trapper there. You know what would be really good to kill? Dragon Snatchers, because I really want to get an Uzi. That's one thing that I really wanted for a while now. Come on, Turtle. You know you want to drop one. Oh, I didn't drop a Turtle Shell. The, the drop of the Turtle Shell is actually really low. And on Xbox One, it took me about 10 hours to farm it, which was crazy. But yeah, here we go. If we just go along the top of the biome, we should be okay to try find one. Or a couple of Turtles. One or a couple, whatever. <laughs> should, should be good to try find some. Okay, let's get rid of this meteorite. We've got a couple more pieces left. Even though there's not enough meteorite to spawn the heads now, but I just want to get rid of it all, just for the sake of getting rid of it all, because it's just annoying, to be honest. Meteorite is one of those things that are just always going to be there and be annoying. We go. Let's try and get rid of this now. Here we go, guys. And we're going to try and just fill it all in as fast as we can before that slime attacks us. And I think it's already going to attack us, right? Unless it's going to... Oh, it jumped over us. Lucky slime. And it's going to get killed by my minion. <laughs> R.I.P. slime. Well, it, we did warn it. Here we go. This should make it for a flatter jungle bomb. Even though I'm not doing it totally flat, it's really hard to build on Android, in my opinion. I don't know. I find it really hard to build. Ooh. There we go. There's a goblin. See if we can get some tattered cloth of him. If we can get the tattered cloth of him. Sorry. <laughs> I can't even talk. There we go, some tattered cloth. Two out of two. So I think you can get up to three cloth, if I'm correct. I don't know if I'm right or wrong, but I think it's up to three. There we go. Let's just fill this in now. And we should be all good. Derplings are actually really annoying. <laughs> really annoying. But that's a bit flat now, so we can run back and forth. See if we can find any turtles. Whoa, a lot of derplings, but no turtles so far. Right, that go. Oh, we've got two orange blood roots here as well. We are very close to making ourselves some orange dye. Should be good. I mean, I don't know if it's like one blood root per dye or what, but it grows really frequently on mobile. I've noticed that. 
On Xbox, I don't actually see it that much, but on mobile, I see it all the time. Now, I think it would be better if I go get some water candles or a battle potion to farm these or something. I don't know, because water potions and battle potions... Uh, water potions, what am I talking about? Water candles and battle potions. Oh, we got the mommy mask. As if. Oh, wow. What do I look like? Oh, <laughs> that just looks weird. I'm putting the golem mask back on. There we go. Right, yeah. Um, Like I was saying, I don't know. Battle potions, water candles. I mean, they do increase mob rates, but is it really going to increase the mob rate of turtles? I don't know. Maybe it will. Could do. Maybe we're getting Arab Camus spawn now. Slimes, but no turtle so far. See, I don't know if they spawn more underground or on top of the ground. I really don't know. So I'm really not certain on that at all. Oh, more tattered cloth. That's pretty cool, actually, because you can make you can make some... Pretty sure you can make the hero's clothing with that. Pretty sure you can. But I don't know what else it's used for. I can't remember off the top of my head. Because I always forget things, like now and again. People always point out the so obvious things I should know. But I always forget things and... It makes people wonder if I've even played Terraria before, which... <laughs> I don't blame you guys. Right, come on. We've got to go find some turtles. I'm going to go underground because... Well, I just want to go underground because there's more more jungle down there. Okay, let's go. If we can find any new plant terror spawners, that'll be great. We can try to get the axe, which uh, I've still not got on the Xbox edition. Come yeah, on. Well, here we go. We are down here now, searching around for any turtles. I think a nice open area might get some turtles. I don't really know. It's got a bezoar as well. Nice. That's another thing we need to do to get the ankh shield. I'm going to try and make the ankh charm soon as well. But I want to farm some turtles this episode. So we can try and get the turtle shells to make the turtle armor. Because turtle armor is going to be a massive help. It, it defends you a lot. It increases uh, your chances to live pretty much. I'd say in my opinion. Because it does uh, the full set bonus of it is it does enemies attack to, to them. So it, uh, attackers take full damage. So they attack you. And they take the full damage of what they attack. So it's really good. And it's really helpful in a lot of situations. Especially with the Master Ninja Gear. Where the Master Ninja Gear can dodge attacks. That's really, really helpful in my opinion. So yeah. Personally for me, it'd be really good. We got, ooh, we've got a Plantara spawner there. Should we try and fight it? Yeah, of course we're going to try and fight it. I mean, if we die, we die. We don't, we don't. I've died plenty of times from Plantaras. Plantaras have been buffed for definite. Like, I've got to just know they have. Even though you might not agree with me, I know they have. Because Plantaras used to be so much easier. But now they're like... They're not tough. I wouldn't say they're tough. They're just annoying to fight. Like, see how much life that took off me? And fair enough, I'm not wearing the best armor in the game. But honestly, guys, it takes off so much armor now. It's unbelievable. I can barely live this thing. I can barely live this thing. When it goes into rage mode, it's much easier to kill, in my opinion. That mode. As long as you stay away from it. It don't fire any of its uh, little petals or whatever they are. Okay, I've just doomed myself. Come on. Yes, got up. I think I'm going to die. But what I'm going to try and do is heal myself up. But I think I'm going to die as soon as I click off this. Yep. I couldn't do anything there, guys. Like I say, I do die sometimes. And I've killed plenty of planteras in my time. But things like that happen. <laughs> things like that really happen. But no, uh, the, the reason I died there was because for some reason my attacks were not attacking him. I don't know what happened there. I think my little pad got stuck somewhere. But sometimes that happens and fair enough. I don't, I don't blame Plantera for killing me. <laughs> but we do need an upgrade of armor. And that's the reason why, why we need the upgrade of armor. Because it goes well with my accessories. And it will just make me stronger overall. And I do need new accessories as well. Because I'm actually rocking really old accessories that I used in pre-hard mode. So we do need to upgrade a little bit. I mean, I'm not rocking all of them. But I'm rocking a lot of them from pre-hard mode. So you've got to understand that I'm not the strongest person on here at the minute. Whisper a bottle time. And also my minion. I hate how these despawn. This should be something where you can get them to anti-despawn. So they don't despawn on you. It's like um the minions as well. As soon as you leave the world, the minions despawn as well. I mean, it makes sense because you're not in the world and they despawn. But when you come back on, it's really annoying. You have to summon them. And half the time, I forget to resummon them. I really do. I just take the assumption that they're already summoned. And that's why uh, I don't resummon them normally. 
And that's why sometimes you won't see me with the minion on me. Because I just completely forget that I've even got them. By the time I've remembered, I'm pretty much dead. See how many deaths I've had so many deaths. If anyone's been keeping track of how many deaths I've had in this world, you must have a massive uh, total right now. Right, let's collect this chlorophyte then. There we go. Two chlorophyte ores. All comes in handy, like I say. Uh, we can try get some chlorophyte armor. That would be nice. But yeah, I'm going to put my healing potions at the top. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. I just assumed that there was there. And that I could have got them. There we go. We've got them. And that's a Splunker Potion. Right, I'm going to use the Splunker Potion because I reckon that will help us out greatly to try and find some Chlorophyte. Because I, I miss it a lot of the time and it'll, it'll light up. So yeah, uh, let's get the healing potions back there and let's go ahead and search for more Plantera Spawners. And mainly just Turtles. I'm not, I'm not going for Plantera Spawners mainly, so I'm not like searching for them. So that's not my main objective, but if we do find any, I'm more than happy to kill them. There we go. See how the Chlorophyte... Like glows. That's actually really good. Really helpful for me. No, not nature's gift. I hate nature's gifts. I mean, you might think they're helpful and everything, but I've got so many of them. I just don't need them. I just don't. They're really use useless to me now. Come on, let's let's try find some more Plantera spawners then. Oh, that's a nice batch of chlorophyte there. We are grabbing all of this. All of your chlorophyte be mine. Yes. Oh my god, we just got a nice little. Oh, there's some more down there as well. We are getting quite a lot of this. So we can work on getting some chlorophyte armor then. I guess that'll be a bonus for us. And then, yeah, I guess that would be a bonus for us, wouldn't it? There we go. We got a Violet Ankle of Dwin Honey Dispenser. I guess it's just like really, we, we might as well take it all. Why not? Why not? Here we go and take it all. Might as well. Nothing stopping us from taking. Oh, we've just took a potion. I guess that'll come in handy one day. I don't know. We're going to get rid of the blink work roots because we're not going to use them. Ruby because there's only one. Stinger because I don't need them. I don't think I need them anyway. Off the top of my head, I don't think I can use them for anything. Uh, blink work seeds. We can always get them another time. Tin ore. That's old. Var mushrooms. Mm, we'll get rid of them anyway. Boom. There we go. So now we can get some of these blocks as well. I forgot what the blocks are called though, but we can get a few of them. Maybe use them in the future. I don't know. Here we go. Right, we got it. We just mined a pressure plate as well. What's in this one here? What have I left down here then? Magic mirror, some potions and stuff. You know, just useless stuff. Teleportation potion. Should we use a couple of these? Just to uh, teleport ourselves to a random location? That'll actually be really funny, that will. Just see where we end up. See if we find a place where we haven't explored before. Right, there we go. Boom. Okay, then where's it took us? Looks like it's took us to the underworld. Okay, it's took us to a place that we haven't explored before. That's, that's all good, in my opinion. It's all great. It's all good to explore a place. Oh, nice. And the first thing we do is find a chest. And it's got some pretty useless stuff in. So let's just leave all that stuff there. Continue on the journey. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to teleport to another random location. Yeah, another place I've not explored. And it's to teleport me right to a chest. So that's all good. I have Cthulhu Spawner. Let's take that bad boy. <laughs> Let's kill it. Let's absolutely destroy it. <laughs> it's gonna. This is gonna be in for a for a good ride. Good run for its money here. I reckon the. I reckon the. Just the. My minion could probably kill it really easily. No way. No way. We destroyed that. We absolutely obliterated it. It had no chance. I'm sorry, but that had no chance against us. Well, let's get back to the jungle where we need to get anyway. Because if we're just going to be chilling in here, we're not going to do what we need to do today. Find some turtle shells and stuff. We're just going to be messing around down there. Come on. Let's try and get some then. Uh, but yeah, turtle shells are quite hard to get in my opinion. And they are quite a rare thing. I'm pretty sure they're a pretty low drop. Like 1% or so. Well, no, no, not 1%. But they're really low drop. And yeah, I guess all we can do is try and get some. But Chlorophyte is another, like I say, another denominator to my actual turtle armor because I haven't gotten on yet. So I will actually need to grab that along with the uh, turtle shells. Come on, there's got to be something around here. Got to be some. It's got to be something or other. We can't just find no turtles. We found like two so far and killed them and got no turtle shells. But like I say, they're not 100% drop. So 
could take forever. Next episode, I might actually do like a time lapse of killing them. I don't know. I'm not really sure because whenever I do a time lapse, I'm never sure if people like watching time lapses because they can be quite boring. But, you know, the music's cool and it gives you an insight of how long it actually takes because I speed it up. But it's still still a large majority of the video. Right, there we go. We've got Chlorophyte there. And there's another Plantera spawn. I reckon we can take on this one. Let's just uh, heal up first. And then let's try and take it down. Let's go. We're in a nice open area, like I say. I like open areas because you can fly around more and just do more damage to it in the long run. Okay, I don't like the fact that I've got this here. Let's try jump off there. <laughs> that might have actually helped me in the long run. Who knows? Who knows? I'm not actually trying to dash away from it either, guys. That's actually my... Because uh, I'm... I'm do Double, double tapping it left, not dabbing it. I'm not dabbing it, am I? But no, I'm double tapping it left and it's just like doing that. But I don't know. It seems to lag a little bit when I'm fighting bosses. Only like the slightest bit, but it's, it's the slightest bit to get you a little bit, I don't know, off track, I guess. Come on, we can't die from this one as well. From, no way. No way am I dying from this one as well. There's just no way. Come on, let me lose, use a healing potion. Come on, let me use one. It's taking forever for the healing potion to, to come back. The plant is almost dead anyway, which is good. Excellent, come on. We've got him, we've got him. When he comes back up, I reckon we've got him this time. Oh, maybe this time then. Come on. Oh my god, he is stronger than I thought. Come on. There we go, we got him. We got him. We've got a temple key right there. It looks like we've got a... A drop there from a mob as well. That's pretty cool. Let's get rid of some of these things in our inventory. Uh, we need to keep the pumpkins. M remind me not to destroy those pumpkins or get rid of them because I will end up doing it and it will end up being like really disastrous because I'll need them. Because I need them to make the, the uh, spawner. Right, we've got the beeswax there so we can summon the beeswax. But what did we actually get for a drop then? Like what did we actually get? Because I didn't pick anything up and I'm not too sure what we got for a drop. Get rid of them lesser healing potions. We're not going to need them. A uh, great pressure plate again. We can buy pressure plates. We're not going to need them. Moon glow. We're not going to need those. We're not going to need moon glow seeds either because we can find them around. Come on. Where's my drop? Is, is it literally just dropped nothing? It's got to have dropped something, surely. Surely. We've spent all that time trying to kill it and it dropped nothing. Godly nettle burst, did that say? So we got a nettle burst from it, really? After all that, I get a Nettle Burst. What? That is rubbish. Got a Nettle Burst after all that. It's rubbish, man. Oh, why can't it drop some better things? Nettle Burst. But it's godly, I guess. I guess it'll sell for a little bit more because it's godly. But we're never going to use it. So it's, it's pretty much useless to us. But I think there was some Chlorophyll up here as well. So let's try to go grab that first. Alright, maybe not. Maybe, am I imagining things or... Was there legit some chlorophyll up here? I don't know if I was imagining it. I thought I saw some chlorophyll. Oh, I've killed 100 moss hornets. Woo! Yeah, there we go, guys. We defeat 100 moss hornets now as well, which is beautiful. B A beautiful. All right, I was imagining things. There is no chlorophyll up here. I don't know how I can imagine something like that, though. Pretty sure I saw a few, like, dabs of it. Uh, Dabs? Why do I keep saying dabs? A few dibs of it. Oh, there's some. Okay, let's get some of that. I don't think dibs is a word. What am I talking about? Here we go. So we should be able to make about four or five bars with the stuff we've got so far. I think it's like four chlorophyte for a bar, or it's five. Four or five, I'm not too sure. I always forget how many it is, but it's something like that. At least we know it's growing in the world, and it's growing quite a bit, which is always helpful. It is always helpful when it grows quite a bit, because like I say, you can make chlorophyte, and then you can make turtle. So we can work on that. Well, let's look around. A frog there as well. Boom. Let's keep going. Gotta find more chlorophyll though. I don't know. I just can't find any turtles. Shall I just sit here a minute to see if I can find any? Just don't look like any wants to actually come to me. So it's going to be quite hard to try to find some, to be honest. I don't know if, if it's better to stay in one position. Or if it's better to stay on top of the world or the bottom of the world. I really don't know, like, the spawn rates or whatever. But I might look on the wiki for next episode to try and uh, get some more because we've at least we've farmed some chlorophyll this episode. That's that's the main thing which I'm really happy about. Skeletons. 
No more chlorophyte down here. Okay. So good. Hmm. We explored this. Yeah, we have honey dispensers again. Why are honey dispensers? I guess it's because it's the jungle and, and the thing. Yeah, the bomb. Okay, let's take on this plantera. And then see what we can do. But there's been no turtles around. I don't know why. But turtles just seem like a thing of the past. It looks like they've all gone home or something. I really don't know. Where is the plantera spawn? There it is. Okay, cool. I don't know what it's doing down there, but I think it's stuck. There we go. It's coming back now. Okay, so we do need to get ourselves a better weapon. I might start using my Excalibur. I'm not sure. Like, is there a thing that you guys would want me to see to use? Because I don't know if it's, like, powerful enough to be in hard mode. I mean, I know it's going to be powerful enough to withhold hard mode because it's a hard mode weapon. But is it going to be any good? That's what I mean. Like, I don't know. All I could do is test it. If I, if I test it, then it'll be good. Or I might even use a mage weapon, maybe. I'm not too sure because I've not got a mage loadout. So I might not be as effective as a mage. But I could try use, like, a mage book. I'm not too sure. Come on. But we will fight, um, Duke Fish Run soon as well. I just need to find myself a, oh, God, a truffle worm. Once we've found a truffle worm, we should be A-OK -okay to fight him because all you pretty much need is vampire knives and a good dodge. And a good stretch that you can actually run across to dodge his attacks. And, of course, you just got to dodge his uh, whirlwind attacks as well, which is pretty good. Oh, come on, Plantera. There we go. Boom. Oh, so the loot comes to you then when you kill it. The loot don't drop. Oh, yeah. They added that as an update, didn't they? The loot comes to you instead of going out. Because if it goes out, you've got a more chance like of losing it. And I think that's where an update they actually added. So that was quite cool that you can actually do that now. Boom. And we've got an intense boss gun and a force ball. Pigby staff, which is all good. And let's uh, double check if we've got this. I think we have. Yes, we have. Right, I reckon that's been a pretty good successful episode. We've killed three Plantaras, I think. Or two. And we've got killed by one. And we've also got a ton of Chlorophyte, which is all good. I don't know how much we've got now, though. Let's go check out all the total amount of Chlorophyte we have. And then, hopefully, it's enough to make some pieces of the armor. I know I'm not going to make be able to make all of it. But we're going to make it all into bars. And then we'll make it all into uh, the full things. Right, let's go find our chlorophyte. Then I'm pretty sure it's in this world. If not, it's in my other world. All right, then it's not there. It's not there either. It's not there either. I know I've got a bunch somewhere. Like I collected a hundred odd, and I don't know where I've put it at all. So I'm gonna try and find it right now. I reckon I know what chest it is in though. It's what I need to sort out my chest, guys. Where I need to put all the loot in order. Right, it's not there, but it's in the, this one. Then if it's not there, okay, no, it's not. Um, I think I lost my chlorophyte, guys. I don't know where it's gone. I really don't know where it's gone. No, it's not even in there. So, where have I put it? It's not in there. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to double check in my other world. And then, hopefully, um, I can find it. Okay, crimson. Okay, let's see if we can find it in this world, then. I don't have any chlorophyte there. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure I did have a load of dough. There's two pieces of it, but I'm pretty sure I've got more than that. I am, like, positive that I've got more than that. I don't know I've lost it. and I'll need to go and find it anyway, I, unless it's turned into bars and I've just totally missed it or something. I really don't know. I've got a bunch of stuff there, and I've got a bunch of stuff here as well. I've got a, quite a few boss spawners now as well, which is good. Might try to kill some more bosses soon. Uh, we've got all of our orange blood roots over here. Ton of iron that which I made, which is quite cool. Alright then, 244 souls of night. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the orange blood roots so we can make some orange dye soon. Um and yeah, we'll deposit all the stuff in the chest in a minute. But anyway, guys, that's been an awesome episode. Let's try and make our glorified bars then. Just uh, make them into glorified bars quickly and trash some stuff in the process. Right, let's get rid of the dirt block when we can. There we go. Boom. Right, so chlorophyte bars. We should be... Wait, shouldn't they be in this? Oh, there they are. Right, six. Really? It takes six? I thought it was like four or five, not six. Wow, so we're going to need a bunch then. Again, these dirt bo blocks just aren't coming up for some reason. There we go. Got them. Boom. Six. I'm not going to be able to make a lot at all. We have eight chlorophyte bars. 
And to make anything with them, we need... Okay, we can make some arrows, but we don't need those. But to make armor, what do we need then? How many chlorophyte bars do we need? Let's take a look. So we need 12 chlorophyte bars for the helmet. Yep, 12. We need uh, 36. Uh, 36, 46, 54. 54? Yeah, 54 I believe that is. So we need 54 bars in total. We have 8 so far. And I'm pretty sure I've got some around. So I'm going to look for them. If not, I've definitely got some more chlorophyte ores around. And then we can look for those. And hopefully, we can make some bars soon to make the armor and then be a bit stronger. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like and subscribe. Stay frosty. And peace.